Well, on this Memorial Day, you might have seen them pass you on the roads. Hundreds of cyclists in their red, white and blue headed from D.C. to Virginia Beach. That's right, but there's a lot more to their stories than just patriotism on this holiday. It's called the United Healthcare's Ride to Recovery, and our own Scott Thuman went along for this emotional journey. Two wheels, open air, and a hard pedal. It is when Juan Carlos Hernandez, or JC as his friends call him, is no longer worried about the world. I was like, well, if I can do this, I, you know, I can pretty much do everything else that I was able to do before. Before the bike and before this group he now calls his family, there was devastation. The Army sergeant was in a helicopter in Afghanistan doing nighttime missions when they were hit by an RPG. JC's leg had to be instantly amputated. After I lost my leg, I didn't, I didn't think I, it was possible for me to be that active again. I knew nothing about an amputees before my injury. I had no idea about prosthetics. I didn't know what was out there. Or who else, just like him, might be out there too. As you can see, there are plenty. And on this Memorial Day, the first stop, the vice president's house. You know, the ride to recovery is, uh, is just that. There's nothing easy about anything that you've gone through. Not a damn thing. I asked him how these images, which inspired a VP selfie, by the way, will impact others. Everybody sees this and it makes you think. Yeah, we're going to the right. As they hit the road on this 350 mile ride, there's no complaining. You just see and hear support and as we shared the pavement impassioned stories of how these bicycles changed and in some cases actually saved their lives i guess the biggest thing is it, it pulled me out of the corner so i wouldn't be constantly down on myself it, it helps a lot because it just kind of helps you clear your mind and your thoughts it just helps you get it out there and especially when you talk about it with somebody else who can relate to it there is no more me on these wheels there is only we and that is enough to keep them going. I feel like I've accomplished much more as an MPT than I did before I was injured, to be honest. Scott Thuman, ABC7 News.